guys, it's Teely here. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. Today's video is kind of spontaneous considering it's like 11 o'clock at night. But I made a decision today and I wanted to let you guys know because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people that go through this and want some real talk on college decisions. I know I've made already three or four college videos, but because I went through this myself, I want to let you guys know and pretty much give you guys some real talk advice. And before I continue with this video, I want to let you guys know that yes, this is a whole different background that's because since it is nighttime and I don't have any type of ring light or anything like that. I am filming in my kitchen that has the best lighting, even though I'm probably gonna look very orange in this video, but yeah, well side note. I said that I was going into the degree choice of kinesiology. Now the reasoning behind all of that, this all made sense in a moment, the reasoning behind that is because I was always into fitness, dance, um, I am actually a certified belly dance instructor. And I wish to be, you know, a Zumba instructor, beach body coach, all those types of things and everything that pretty much revolve around fitness. But technically, I don't need a degree for any of those. And I, I was real with myself. Like I was pretty much like talking to myself. I was asking my family, and you know, I even asked my mother's best friend, you know, for help because I did not foresee myself passing anatomy and physiology. And a lot of it to me was kind of like gibberish. It really didn't quite sit with my brain. So I was looking for other things that I was good at. And it, it's kind of heartbreaking a little bit because I actually had my heart set on kinesiology for six or seven years. But I started looking at other things that I like to do. And for instance, YouTube video editing. Um, I had a Bethany Moda editing page. I think it's, if it's still on Instagram, it is actually bethers.xoxo. And if I find it, I'll link in the description below. I started that, I want to say, I don't know. But the point is, is that I did a lot of video editing and I still edit, you know, some of my own pictures, my family's pictures. Um, and I'm learning new skills every day. And I enjoy that and I enjoy editing videos. I enjoy making videos besides the photo editing video editing and all that stuff something else that I really enjoy is making PowerPoints and that is because I besides the you know average text photo maybe we'll put a little you know fancy thing here I like to add the transitions for the whole slide I like to add the animations to the text add some background music Put some really cool effects. I really enjoy PowerPoints, even though mine are like kind of way out there. But I enjoy it, and I think it adds a lot more fun to my presentations, and also shows my personality. And I've gotten comments in my college classes like, "Isn't that a bit immature?" And I'm like, "Well, sure. If you're calling me immature, you know, I was told to show who I am." So, yeah. So. I have been making websites now for about seven years, haven't really progressed, but I am, you know, really into making it. I, I love learning about it and I told this to my mom's best friend and she pointed out this degree for me and it is commercial arts. Now I was like, isn't that for like, you know, movies, but no. Commercial arts, I can do the website design, video editing, photo editing, because all in this I have to take, you know photography, um, art history, like fine arts appreciation, that kind of stuff. But it'll get me doing something that I enjoy and I can use it and pertain it to YouTube because I will be learning video editing, how to use the Adobe video editors and photo editors for like, you know, thumbnails and stuff. So I can put that forth, you know, forward. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys, with you guys like the whole reason for this video is because you guys do not have to be ashamed if you want to switch what you want to do in your life. There is not a single person on this planet that will tell you, I woke up, I wanted to be a Marine, and I'm a Marine for my whole life. 
There is not a single person on the planet that's gonna do that. There is not a single person that only does college for one thing. I know someone that has a degree in three different things, two of which are associates and one is a bachelor's. Shout out to my mom's best friend. But she did it. Like, she's living good, you know? And there, there's just, okay. Going back in time for just a few minutes, I was that kid that, you know, always back and forth in the shelters, um, food pantries. Uh, we we had to pay for us to go to, like my sisters and I to go to school, just, you know, elementary, middle school, high school. There was a fee to go to school, so our education wasn't free. Like, okay, high school here where I live now was free. Everything before that, every year there was a fee. And I told my mom, mom, I'm gonna work at three BP gas stations so that we can move into a nice house and live, you know, happy. I did not believe that I would be in college. I personally thought that college was for rich kids that had all the money and I never thought I'd be in college. And right now, I said before in one of my other videos that financial aid is paying for my associate's degree. Like all across the board, my associate's degree is covered. My bachelor's degree is probably gonna be a good 95% covered. And I changed my mind so many times, but my life is all across the board. I really, I honestly hate doing the one, like one thing. I'm not that person. So probably in a couple years down the road, I might come back to college and go to so for something different, or I might come back to kinesiology. But right now, I am switching my degree to commercial arts because I want a change. And I don't think that anyone should be afraid to make a change in their education because it's your education. It's your decision. If you, if you get halfway through your degree, whether you're just doing gen eds or you're doing actual class in your degree, and you find out that, you know, you maybe have an epiphany that this is not the degree for you, this is not what you want to do with your life, don't be afraid to change it. Don't go forward and keep doing classes that are not going to benefit your future or give you a career that you're going to love and be able to enjoy. I mean, if you're a YouTuber and you want to go to college, go into something that has videography or photography. You can put that forth to your channel. If you have a photography page on your Instagram, go for photography. All in all, the moral of this video is to not be afraid to change your mind in college. This is real talk. It doesn't matter if you're at the finish line. If it is not something that you do not, if it is not something you want to do, don't do it. Don't waste your money. Even if it's financial aid, like hopefully I would think you would realize it sooner rather than later that this is not what you want to do and don't waste the state's money or the government's money. Don't quote me on that. Um, don't waste the money doing something or doing cause for something that's only going to make you money and not going to make you happy. Because I can almost guarantee you anything you take in college is going to make you money. It's just where you decide to apply your knowledge that you gain from your college courses and when you gain your degree, whether it's your associates, bachelors, um, masters, doctorates, anything, even your PhD. Make sure you love what you're gonna do or else it's gonna haunt you the rest of your life. That is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me and don't for get to leave a comment down in the description down below asking me any questions about who I am, anything about what I'm doing, why I'm doing a YouTube channel, even though that was already answered in my new YouTuber tag. Any questions, ask me and as soon as I have 20 plus questions, I'll be making a bomb video for you guys. So without further ado, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.